Hey guys, it's Jemmy from 3D Scan Store here again. Uh, so in this final part of the uh, tutorial series looking at our um, expressions base mesh, I'm just going to show you how you can very, very quickly texture your model using um, our displacement maps. Or, I mean, you can use either our texture maps, they're all compatible as are our HD displacement maps. For this, we're going to use uh, HD displacement maps. So I think we're going to use female 02, this one here. Um, so basically, because you've used our base mesh for all of this, the um, UVs and everything are the same. So all you need to do is to import the textures uh, from the base displacement maps. So I'll just go in here and we'll get female 2 and we'll look at the maps. We've got color and displacement. So we'll import the color. And we'll just flip that vertically. <coughs> and this is the texture that was on before, but we'll replace it with this one. So there you go, instantly textured with 16K color map, loads and loads of detail. No eyebrows, but you can add them on in geometry. And um, we removed them from these maps because you know generally they are you know created in geometry. Um, so and now for the displacement map, we'll just import the displacement corresponding displacement map. And we'll just flip that. And now we're only on subdivision level three here, so it's not very high. So to get this displacement to work, we will just subdivide the model up a couple of times, make sure record layer recordings turned off as I just did there. Um, and it's got to level six, 12 million polygons. That should hold it. And then we'll select our displacement. And I'm just going to, well, I've got this texture enabled. I'm just going to click um, new texture just so I can create a blank white texture that will help me see the displacement a bit better. So we'll just turn this up to 0 0.01, oh, 0 0.003. Let's find a nice 0 0.0035 maybe. Yep, I'll just make a new layer and we'll just call that displacement. And then in the displacement map, we will just apply displacement. And yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. Not too far off. So now when you turn on your texture, everything will match. So, you know, in a matter of minutes, you can create a fully textured, fully displaced character. displacement might be a little bit strong perhaps you know we could maybe just turn that layer down a little bit then that's why I did it on a layer and um, so maybe just turn it down to 0 0.8 maybe 0 0.9 there we go that looks good yeah, so that's just a very, very quick video just to show you how easy it is once you've used our um, expression set to sort of displace a model. And again, you know, you can go and you can um, you can then sort of modify the expression still if you turn off your mod layer. You know, you can go back and start changing things all over again, create a new mod layer, start making new faces. very very easy okay so once again if you have any questions um, feel free to ask me on um, in the comments below